Hello everyone, I'm Mario Goichai, the owner of Mr. G's Chop House in Shelby Township. We're located on Van Dyke between 25 and 26 miles on the west side of the road. Today on Cooking with Mario, we're going to be making a chicken milanese. So let's get cooking. Our ingredients for our chicken milanese. We have some nice chicken breast here. We have some flour, lightly beaten egg, and some breadcrumbs. And then to accompany that, we're going to make a nice arugula salad. So we have arugula. We're also going to be using some fresh cherry tomatoes, lemon juice, and Parmesan. All right, to make our chicken milanese, we're going to get this on some parchment paper because we're going to pound it a little bit. Uh, we're just going to pound it just to make it a little bit thin. It's going to help with even cooking. So we have a little mallet here, a little bit of parchment paper so it doesn't stick. And then you're just going to tap on this here. Now you don't want to do it too hard because you're going to risk the chance of like tearing your chicken breast. So you just kind of want to get a light tap and you want to try to make the piece nice and even so it cooks nice and evenly. So we're going to do this and we'll do it with both pieces. This is one. I'm going to drop this into the flour here and we're going to work on our next one. It's a little process. It's actually called the three step breading process here. So we have our flour, our egg, and our breadcrumb. Okay. All right. Now, got our chicken breast, nice and coated in the flour, and we're going to move over to the egg yolk. We'll do the same with this. Okay. You really want to make sure to get this coated, so to make sure that the breading really sticks on this really well. Alright, take off the excess egg here and we're going to put it into the breadcrumbs. We're going to cover it with the breadcrumb over here. We're going to do the same thing with this other piece. This is something that's actually really great because you can make this ahead of time. And if you're having a dinner party or having people over for, for dinner, whatever it might be, or even if you're you know, trying to get dinner ready for yourself for later on in the day, you could do this and then you can just pop these uh, breaded cutlets into the fridge. So now we have this breaded, as you can see, all nicely coated, okay? You want to make sure that it's perfectly coated. You want to kind of press the breadcrumb into it. It's really important to have it nice and stuck on there. So we're just going to do that same exact thing, okay? Press into it like this. Now. That can sit there for a minute. I'm gonna get some oil into the pan. We're gonna turn this heat on. So now we're gonna saute these cutlets and I like to use avocado oil. It has a higher bur uh, burning point so you can actually heat it up to almost 500 degrees without it going bad, without it smoking. So we're gonna use this for our light fry. All right, you're going to want to have at least a quarter inch of oil in the pan just to give it enough, I guess, volume to kind of coat the sides of the chicken cutlet while they're cooking. So as soon as that heats up, we're going to take these, we're going to set them in the pan. Meanwhile, what we're going to do here, we're going to start making our salad that we're, that's going to go with this dish, which is our arugula salad. So we have some very nice arugula here. And what we're going to do with this, we're going to season it up. We like to season everything, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. It's got to taste good. This is actually a pretty quick dish to make at home. Really simple. And it's a crowd pleaser. So we have our arugula, salt, pepper, olive oil. I like some fresh lemon in mine. Gives it a nice brightness. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of balsamic. And then we're going to give this a toss. You want to make sure that all your leaves are nice and coated. And at the same time, you don't want to see the dressing at the bottom of the bowl because that means that it's just going to be overdressed, a little bit too heavy. 
So you just want to make sure that it's really nice and light. Feel free to do a taste test. And that tastes really good. Now, I can see over here that our oil is starting to come up to temperature. Probably another 15 seconds, and we're going to put our chicken cutlets down. Come over here. All right, we're going to lay these cutlets down. When you're putting it in the pan, you always want to make sure to put it in the pan and kind of lay it away from you. There's always a little danger of splashing hot oil, so you always want to put it away. If you got to do them one by one, do them one by one. Luckily here we have a pan that's big enough and we can do two at once. All right, so those are going to be sizzling away. So this dish is, uh, you know, something really that is just a crowd pleaser. I like it for myself, but you can do a lot with it. You don't have to do it with an arugula salad. You can do whatever you like. If you like to do mashed potatoes, risotto, pasta, you can make, you know, a hundred different type of ways. But for today, we're going to do it with the salad. We're going to start actually plating it up because this is a really fast dish. So we're going to start plating up the arugula here. I like to garnish it with some cherry tomatoes. Okay. Let's check on our cutlets now. Remember, chicken, you always want to cook it all the way through. So because we pounded it so nice and thin, it's not going to take that long to cook. I would say at the most three minutes on each side. I'm going to flip them over. You can see that they're nice and golden brown. And like I said, at this point, it's not cooked all the way through, but if you want it to kind of meal prep, you can always take these off now, stick them in your fridge, and when you come home from work or from whatever you're doing, they'll be ready for you. Then all you gotta do is pop them in the oven, 350, two, three minutes, heat them up to temperature, and then they're perfect to serve. Okay. Just another minute on this. While we're waiting, we could take a little bit of fresh parm, which I love. You can always do some slices like this for your garnish. And then I got another little idea. Just because we have some carrot here, add a little bit of crunch to the dish. I have another zester or peeler, but it has the teeth on it. So we can get some nice shredded carrot on there. Okay, that looks good. This chicken's probably really close now. All right, one more minute and this is pretty much done. All right guys, so look at this. We have our chicken milanese here. This is fresh out of the oil. We took it out, put it on some paper here so we can drain any excess oil. This is nice and dried now. So I'm gonna, just gonna take it. I'm gonna put it here with my salad. If you like, you can always pre-slice it, plate it, get creative with it. I mean, like I said, this is such a versatile dish. Essentially, a nice breaded chicken cutlet. I always like to finish everything with a little bit more cheese because why not? It doesn't hurt. So we're going to do that. Okay. And we're going to do a couple fresh lemon slices here. That's what I call dinner. Thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of Cooking with Mario. We made a beautiful chicken milanese. I hope you and your friends love it. Try making it at home. Super easy, 15, 20 minutes. That's all you need. Thank you. Thanks again for watching today, guys. If you like what you saw today on Cooking with Mario, go ahead and follow us, The Mitt TV, on YouTube. Click on the notification bell and subscribe. I hope to see you again soon on Cooking with Mario.